Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. And this challenge is the Fatties Challenge. And I don't even need to tell you who the Fatties are. If you know this family, that I've been playing with them for about two months now, you know who the Fatties are. So, we're just gonna go on normal, cause Sarbama is too fucking crazy. Let's get it started. Alright, for this challenge, I'm not limited to any items, but I can only bring the daughter and Ted. So I'm gonna bring her fat ass tuba playing ass up. And whoa, 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 okay, it's over here. And let's bring other stuff. Let's bring the suitcase. Oh, there you go. The flashlight's right there. Get that flashlight, bitch! What the fuck? It's not letting me grab it. Oh, that's gonna waste so much time. That is some bullshit. Gotta get this Boy Scout book. And the map. And what else? Definitely not my kid. That fuck ass kid. Throw this in there. There we go. And gun. Med kits. There we go. Fuck me. I actually grabbed the water. Okay, come on. Run for it, fatty. Let's go. Grab that. Oh, get that too. Yes, got everything in the bathroom. Come on, throw that bitch in there. What else do I need? What am I missing? Oh, radio. Yes. Okay. Bring some stuff here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Shit. You can't move. Go. Oh, shit. Kobe. <laughs> that was some Kobe type stuff. Can't believe my son almost cock blacked me. From surviving, I'm sorry. I mean, Dolores and Timmy, they're barbecue chicken now. They're all up in the sky, you know? Rest in peace, fellas. Or, yeah, fellas, whatever, who cares? All right, so these two fat, pale motherfuckers are the ones that I need to get out. And there was one can of soup and some playing cards left inside the shelter. I'm not gonna give them any water or food for five days. I haven't played this in a while, so I'm kind of like, you know, stumbling on my words that I'm not sure you know, how to present it, but water and food every five days. There we go. And I'm not going to send anybody out yet. We heard something that about supply drops on the radio. This just might be what we need to survive. Yes, say no more. If there's supply drops and I have a gas mask, I'm going up there. I don't give two fucks if anybody gets sick and nobody got sick. Hell yeah. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. Two waters and two cans of soup. Yes! Okay, cool. Where's water when Ted needs it? Up your ass! Two more days. Two more days. Don't worry, Ted. We got this. More random notes that you're never, ever going to make me read, ladies and gentlemen. So don't ask in the comments anymore, because I'm never going to read them. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this won't happen again. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Ted looks like he has one foot in the grave. One more day, guys. You can survive. Stay five. Time to give him some soup and what's up? Not going to send anybody out yet. I have so many supplies. I don't need to send anybody out. Mary Jane has been dropping hints that it's a special day for her today. We had to think about it hard. And after eliminating your average festivities, the anniversary of that great barbecue we had three years ago, and International Popcorn Day, we realized she was talking about her birthday. That means we need to get her a gift. Man, I'm gonna fart in her dinner if she asks for a gift. I'm like, here's your soup. <laughs> Just give her some soup and a fart. Fuck Mary Jane's birthday. Nobody gives a shit. Mary Jane loves cards. We thought she might get herself busy with solitaire, but she started doing card readings. Divination or not, we, if we don't figure out why the world has gone to hell, maybe she will. Okay. Uh, four more days and I'll feed them and give them water again. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. Not at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Turn on the radio, maybe listen to some tunes. Maybe hear some radio. Maybe listen to some audio porn. Maybe if, you know, Ted's feeling a little frisky. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. No new problems are troubling Ted. Good. Better not. It looks like the area is still irradiated. I won't send anybody out yet. Maybe when the water and food are low, but we'll see. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. Yes, let's turn on the radio, and let's see if there's any signals. My goal, well not my goal, but I hope that Mary Jane turns into a mutant in this episode, because that would be awesome, because she's going to be the only one I can send out. We made contact! The military is out there and they're coming for us! 
All we need to do now is wait patiently. All right. Well, I'm not a very patient person. I, Jay from the Cub Scouts, am a very stubborn dick, okay? I am so impatient. Like, I can't wait for things. I need to get rescued right now. And these fatties need to stop being so damn hungry because I'm going to feed them in one more damn day. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems it's ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. All right, let's send Fatty Jr. Come on, Mary Jane. Walk your fat butt over there. Anything good? All right, she didn't get sick. Awesome. When we answered the phone call, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We started to exchange information when the call was cut short. No, But they said they might hear from them soon. Today, 10, time to get them some soup and witch. And I'm not gonna send anybody out yet. We're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects. Or worse, it's worse, they're spiders. And not some miniature ones, but huge, furry, and very creepy beasts. We got to do something about them. Um, I think if you don't do anything about them, Mary Jane turned into a mutant, right? Let me see. Let me see. I hope I didn't completely fuck that up. I didn't fuck that up, did I? Oh! Did, she's normal? Okay. We decided we could get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. Of course you got tired killing spiders! You're team fatties! Uh, not gonna send anybody out yet. We know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea to find out more. Maybe discover if anyone else made it to safety. A radio could help with this. Yeah, maybe, you know, Team Gingerheads made it out alive. You know, Timmy and Dolores. I doubt it, though. They probably, man, they're fucking barbecue chicken. You know, lathered up and barbecue sauce. The barbecue chicken. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the service now. And Mary Jane is feeling safe, and nothing's wrong with Ted. Yes. I don't want them to go crazy or get sick, because that takes a long time for them to get cured. It's awfully quiet outside, but I'm not going to send anybody out. And some more random notes. Day 13. There it goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes? Walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know, and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax. Otherwise, we might get paranoid. Yes. Play cards. Play Go Fish. What are some two-player card games? Go Fish, uh, bullshit. Oh, bullshit would be so hard playing with two people. <laughs> Having some fun made us forget about, what was it again? Mary Jane keeps fainting. Ted has one foot in the grave. One more day. When we look closely at our map, we noticed someone had written a set of mysterious directions in one of the corners. Will it lead to some kind of treasure? It might be worth sending someone to find out. You know what, let's send guinea pig and see if she can find anything. Cause we have a med kit, so if she gets sick, we kinda have a backup plan already. Oh, what the hell, she tired? Was it nothing? The map directions weren't too hard to follow. We found our way to one of our neighbor's backyards and dug under some of the trees. We discovered two food cans. That's what we call a successful treasure hunt. Yeah, I wouldn't call two cans of food a successful hunt, but whatever, to each their own. Let's give them that. We could use some extra supplies. The last time we went on a supply run, we noticed a damaged tank stuck in the rubble nearby. How about we send someone to investigate? You know what? We can never have too many supplies. Let's send clean-faced, baby-faced Ted, okay? What? What happened? What the fuck happened? The last thing we expected was a giant explosion. We could hear the debris falling from the sky and hitting the sad remains of our house. The tank must have been booby-trapped or contained volatile explosives. Why did we do it? Why? Holy shit! Ted exploded! He got killed by an explosion. That's the first time I've ever seen that. That is fucking insane. Ted was killed. We didn't make it. These are our final words, and our advice to anyone who reads this is obscured writing. We held out for 16 days. Damn! Ted got fucking done, son! He said, I gotta be like my, my son and my wife and gotta be barbecue chicken! That is crazy! I've never seen that type of ending. That's weird. I perished. You know, fuck it. We're gonna try it again. That was a mistake on my part, but Team Fatties must go on, so let's redo that. 
Day 5. There is nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? You know what? YOLO, bitches. Yes, and Mary Jane is sick, but I gave her some medicine. What the hell? What the hell was that? What the fuck? Dolores is back? When we opened the door, we just laughed and screamed and screamed and laughed some more. It was Dolores. She survived the blast more or less without a scratch. Oh, this is a happy day. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane is all well now. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores is really tired. This morning has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. You know what? Fuck the Team Fatties challenge. My mind is blown. Fucking Ted died in an explosion last playthrough. And then now Dolores survived an explosion this playthrough? This fucking epic! Oh my god, does she need food and water? Is she okay? You know, I'm gonna just give her some, just cuz. This is, this is amazing! What about Timmy? Is Timmy gonna come back too? Or we're gonna have like a family reunion? What is this shit? <sighs> Guys, I'm, I'm still like, whoa, that, that, that's so cool. What in the fuck? Maybe moving away won't be too bad. We can probably make new friends, meet new people, provided anyone is still alive, that is. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. Dolores has not eaten for a while. There's nothing much going on with Ted. Wow. I'm still, like, that's impressive. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. I'm just waiting for Timmy to come back now. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble in the area. And it's Pancake because there's flashing red eyes or whatever eyes. Dog eyes. So it was Pancake because I heard a bark in the background. We decided to check out what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. Then it left in the morning. Okay, two more days and I'll feed you guys. Promise. More random notes. That's cool. Like, I've never had that happen to me before. The, the Ted thing where he died and the Dolores thing where she lived. What the hell? Do we have to take care of ourselves or will someone come to our rescue? Mary Jane is quite hungry. So, one more day. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. Okay, let's send Ted out. Have him answer the call. Just be like, hello? What's that? Who was it? Who was it? Was it Timmy? When we answered the phone call, we could hear a gasp of relief from the caller. Oh, it was the same people as last time. Day 10, so everybody gets food and wits. And nobody's gonna go out. You know what? Nah, I'm not gonna send anybody out. Remember that time Mary Jane went out to scavenge supplies? No, because I didn't send her out yet. Whatever, let's just axe her to the face. I don't remember when she went out. What the fuck? Oh, wait, she was gonna answer the door, but she didn't go out scavenging any supplies. Mary Jane got the wrong idea when we brandished the axe. She tried to limp out of the bunker. Fortunately, she was too slow, and we were able to explain our intentions before she ran off. Oh, but she accidentally broke the axe. Fuck you, Mary Jane. You're a horrible person. I'm not gonna send anybody out yet. The radio of ours has been silent for the past few hours. We need our news. We need our music. We all agree that, and if it's refusing to cooperate, we need to meddle with it until it works. No. Every time you meddle with it, there's a high chance that it's just gonna mess up on you, so... It's not even broken, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. We're sure they're experiencing technical issues. Yes, that's it. Everything will be just fine. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane, Dolores as well, nothing wrong with Ted, yada yada yada. Barking at our doorstep can only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. Yes. Oh, I need to go get a uh, med kit before, before that horrible thing with Pancake happens where he dies. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna send somebody out. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. Yay. Okay, let's send out maybe Ted. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be a good idea to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in our situation. Okay, they need to make contact with the military. I a grizzle for shizzle. Come on. We can survive. Two weeks in. Tell me something good. We made contact. The military's out there and they're coming for us, but we need to wait patiently. Fine. Who am I going to send out? I'll send out Ted. Okay, so I'll give him that already. And then I'll send him out. 
Hopefully he brings back some good shit. Please. I like I need a med kit so bad. Cause if I don't, I'm gonna be really sad if Pancake dies and uh it's just gonna be so depressing. Alright, more random notes. Come on, Ted. Everybody just pray! Pray Ted comes back with the goods. Oh, I like how Mary Jane is back to normal. Yes. We played hide and seek. The longest run we were able to last it for 10 seconds. Yeah, I've seen that one before. This is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here, but now it's worse than ever. Fuck. They're going to be fatigued, and then I'm going to be screwed. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Screw you, women. Mary Jane is really tired. If there was anything to report about Dolores, this would have been written here. Man, I don't get that. They're in a shelter, basically a, a jail cell, like a more luxurious jail cell. They can't get sleep? That's all they can do. That's one of the few things they can do. Come on, dude. How do you get no sleep? We stopped arguing for how long. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Dolores will not last long without water. Okay, let's just give them that. Screw it. Hey, it's Pancake. Our friend is back, but he seems very nervous and he keeps barking and jumping. Take the map with us. Usually when we take the map, we get, like, some food and water, I believe. But hopefully we get some good shit. Oh! He's back! And he brought a med kit! Yes! You don't really MVP, Ted! You don't really MVP! Yeah, baby! Damn, he brought a whole bunch of good shit. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody eats and drinks today. It's high time we stop wondering about what's going on and start asking questions, or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning into a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Yeah! Woo! That makes me feel good that we're gonna rescue Pancake. Yes! I don't care if Ted's sick. He can survive a little bit longer. Uh, oh, wait. You know what? Just for the sake of being consistent, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed them and give them water again, because it's day 20. Um, can anybody go outside? Nope, nobody can go outside. We're closed off in a tiny shelter, and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of a local retirement home. They must have supplies, and in our opinion, we need them more. The well-being of your family is the most important thing in the world, right? No. You never fuck with old people, okay? Like, they're wise. They've been on this earth longer than we have. We can't mess with them. Robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. We cannot stoop that low. It's important to keep our values, even in these troubled times. Especially in these troubled times. Let's set a shiny example and leave these poor people alone. Yes. Very, very good. The state of the wasteland remains unknown. Uh, nobody can go outside yet. Damn it. Alright, we'll figure it all out, guys. We're gonna survive. I got this. I got this. Day 23. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking for us to get out with a flashlight and signal to their plane after it gets dark. If all goes well, they'll be able to find us. Sounds like we'll be leaving soon. Yes. Wave the flashlight. Wave it in the air like you just don't care. Day 24. Come on, baby. Tell me something good. Everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. Hey, one more day, I'm gonna feed you and give you guys food. No, 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 Pancake crawled back to us, but he's severely injured. The poor thing has been shot by some monster. We need to help him fast. Good thing Ted got a med kit. I'm sorry, dog, more important than you, Ted. I know you're sick, but look how cute Pancake is. Oh, he's so cute. Let's give him water and food. When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew out a route and marked a spot at the end of it. Maybe there are supplies hidden there? Should we check it out? You know what? Ted is on his deathbed anyway. Look how yellow and green and disgusting he looks. If he comes back and makes it out alive, then screw it. He came back, but nothing good, I think. We're lucky to have spotted the map. The spot marked a small hiding place, and we found some useful supplies there. Does everybody in this damn world only eat soup? I want to see somebody find, like, a hamburger or a pizza. Not going to send anybody out yet. And enjoying the little things in life is more important than any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck and enough water and soil, we might be able to grow our own food. Fuck no. You know what? Just so she doesn't get depressed, we're just going to say yeah. You know what? I'm just going to say yeah. It's only one water bottle. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? She's still sad? You ungrateful little shit. 
Here goes nothing. Soil, seeds, water. We'll see what happens in a few days' time. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. Yeah, you better be. Uh, nobody can be sent out. Oh, wait! Mary Jane can! Yes! And more random notes. Okay, so we're gonna send Mary Jane out. Hopefully she finds a med kit for Ted. I remember one time... Oh my god, Pancake was the real MVP. If you guys haven't seen that episode, you guys need to. He was clutch! He found a med kit and, and, and the person that was sick survived. I forgot who it was, but the person who was sick ended up surviving. And it was just so fucking clutch. I think it was like the Bros Before Hoes challenge. But let's see what happens here. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Dolores needs water. Ted is hungry and was one foot in the grave. What's that trickling sound? And why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preservers or a boat. A boat wouldn't even fit inside the shelter. We need to do something. Save the supplies. Save the map. We can fix the radio. Fuck it. We have the Boy Scout book. We could do it. God, man. Ted looks like absolute shite. Uh, we lost the radio and the cards, but whatever. Food, water, and more random notes. Day 31. It'd be a good idea to let Pancake out for a while. He's a dog. He needs a space for running and other things. So how about we send him out for a while? Yes. Maybe he'll bring back a med kit. Maybe he'll bring back the military. Anything. Come on. What'd you bring back, Pancake? One water? Eh, that'll do. You know, you can't hate on Pancake. He's that dude. Not every day you wake up to a carnivorous plant trying to eat you. This is how our day started. Curse Mary Jane's plant and any gardening ambitions we had. Who would have guessed the seed would grow into a bloodthirsty demon? We need to get rid of it. Uh, use the poison. Come on. I mean, you gotta use poison, right? Because what would the axe do? It would just let it grow more, right? Oh, shit! Ted is dead! Fuck! Ugh! Damn it, Ted. Why you gotta do this to me? Ted has been sick for far too long, and he was too weak to keep on going. He passed away in his sleep. Bug spray offense is the best defense. Wait, did he say he passed away in his sleep? Is that how he was sleeping? He was sleeping sitting on this fucking box? Who sleeps like that? The hell? Damn you, Ted. No wonder you died. You're a dumbass. Bug spray offense is the best defense. Die, you moon plant. Die. Shoo, poo. That was pretty terrifying. We should probably stick to soup cans instead of growing anything. The climate is definitely not suitable for any serious gardening. She came back. What did she bring back, though? Two waters? That's it? God, you're such a little slut. Give her some food and water. We found an anonymous note next to our shelter door. Whoever wrote it requests that we send a representative to a meeting tonight in a set location. That person must come unarmed. The bit worries us, but the author assures us he or she is friendly and doesn't mean to hurt us. Are we going to send someone to check it out? Uh, I've never gotten this one before, guys. You know, I might pull the most dumbass move out of all dumbass moves because it seems so obvious that it's going to be bad. But, I don't know, for some reason I just feel like they want us to make it think that something's wrong is going to happen. And then like when you send her there, something good's going to happen. So I'm going to send her out there. And let's just cross our fingers, because if it's the end, I'm so fucking done. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah, everything's cool. Woo! Woo the meeting was organized by twin siblings, a brother and a sister, who took it upon themselves to scout the remains of the city, looking for trustworthy and decent people. They seemed honest about their intentions and were more than happy to meet them again. They said they know where to find us and they're going to contact us if they need some help. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely. Yes, I am glad too, because I thought I was going to pull a dumbass move. Uh, nobody's going to go outside. The gas mask of ours is in no shape to wear outside. Yes, let's fix it. Fix it, baby. I still can't believe Ted died like that. He died in his sleep, but he's like sitting there and the suit can is open next to his face. Yeah, right. Expect me to believe that bullshit. Give them wata and some soup. And it's, off it's awfully quiet outside, but it's okay. After all the days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. Okay, let's use the gas mask. I mean, that's a temporary fix to a long-term problem, but whatever, man. We'll fix it. Hopefully we get out of here soon. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, sure. Who said that? Who came up with that quote? More random notes. Day 37. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men, dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup. 
but they got lost and they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map, provided we have one. Yeah, we have a map, whatever. Let's check it out. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The end? Yes, not the end. And they didn't steal the map because it's right there. They seem friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange, and they gave us a deck of cards. You rat bastards, I didn't want that shit. Pancake has been barking and barking for hours. If he doesn't get out, he will go crazy. Yes, let's let him pee and poop. Let him pee pee and poop up. Because that's what dogs need to do, right? What did he bring back? What'd you bring back, Pancake? Oh, he brought back one food. Thank you, Pancake. Um, If there's one person we truly miss, it's our great uncle Terry. Okay, let's look at the Boy Scout book and find great uncle Terry. Who? Who cares about their great uncle, you know? I, I, you know, I understand grandma, grandpa, but great uncle Terry? Who the fuck? Soup and water. Here you go. And... Alarm. Someone is trying to break in and they're not alone. We better get ready or else we might end up dead or worse. Yes, I have a padlock. Yes, I'm so glad I have it. It's useful for something. Cool. I got an achievement. It's called Unbreakable. I don't know if you guys can see that. We were able to defend our home this time, but what if they come back? We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break-in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock is in no shape to be used again. Day 43. The siblings kept their word and visited us again with a request. Seeing as they're slowly running out of space in their tent, the group is attempting to build a small camp for themselves. They already gathered some resources, but they need someone to help them chop wood and build houses. Okay, I'll give you my axe. You don't have to axe me anymore. No pun intended. Day 44, damn, there's a lot of damn days. How's that, a month and a half? We got a few splinters, but the work is done. We even had some fun. It was almost like building the treehouse in our backyard all over again. The group and their leaders appreciated our help and said they would definitely let us know when the whole thing is finished so we can come and visit them. Okay, one more day and I'm gonna give them food and water. And we could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building. No, I am not gonna do anything bad to some teachers and some kids. That is just so wrong. That is so damn wrong. Come on now. Come on, you, you, gotta, you gotta have more balls than that. You can't mess with teachers and kids, okay? Soup and water, there we go. The dog woke us up a few times during the night. He's pretty restless and probably wants to go out. Should we let him? Hell yeah. Why wouldn't you? You have to be one evil bastard to not let the dog out. Unless he doesn't come back. But he came back. So, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Brought back one water. That's what I like to see, baby. Just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits is on the other side of the door, demanding we walk out with hands in the air, or they will get in the hard way. That doesn't sound too good. What do we do? We'll have a gun. I got a gun, son. And when I got a gun, son, it's no fun, son! Yeah! I heard that explosion. Probably the fucking gun blowing up. Yeah, the gun blew up. Okay. But we survived the raiders, so, I mean, that, that's, that's a good thing, right? So this is what it's come down to. Sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it. Like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go and check it out? She and her children probably didn't even make it there, right? No! What the hell? These two women are little devils, man. They keep wanting to kill children and shit. That's so messed up. Nobody wants to do that. We're no bandits, sure. We need supplies, but not at the cost of others. I agree. Come on, one of the twins is going to help me out. When are they going to help two women and a dog and a dead man out? Like, Timmy, you know, where is he? Did he go to heaven or hell? I don't know, man. We don't know. For all we know, he could have been like the worst kid at his school and like bullied people. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. Why the hell are so many people attacking us? They probably... They promised us a painful death at least 17 times already, and it was only been 5 minutes since they arrived. We'd better prepare. They'll be forcing that door open any minute now. Okay, we have one last line of defense, is our axe. Like, I don't know why people keep fucking, <laughs> like, attacking us. This is ridiculous. We were able to fight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee they won't come back. We need to be prepared at all times. And the axe broke, and it's day 50, so I gotta give them some of this. This is insane. 
We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back and they are bigger every time we see them. It can't go on like this. It's time to wage war on these spiders. Yes! I think this means Mary Jane's gonna turn into a mutant. Please! Sweet baby Jesus, please! Yeah! She turned into a mutant, baby! That's what I'd like to see! I missed your big purple ass. Okay. Let's send Mary Jane outside. Because we don't have anything else. As we were considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke in our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in a pretty bad shape. They wanted what was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least clean bandages or some medicine. Let's give them some food. I mean, you, you just gotta do the right thing, because then if you do, then maybe you'll get sur survived, right? Or you s get saved. Survived? Maybe you'll get survived? Do I even English? Our visitors were in tears when we gave them what they asked for. Oh, they gave us a radio! Yeah, baby! This is a good day to go outside. Yeah, send Mary Jane out. Mews don't need to eat and drink that much, I believe. And they can survive outside under any condition, so it's great that I have her. Okay, she went outside. Hope she comes back soon. The military is communicating through the radio again. We're sure it was a signal to evacuate out of here, but it turns out they need our help. The speaker requested that all able citizens in the area should chop down a tree. Damn it! Damn raiders, man. Making us, making me use my axe? It's a bull. We're not lumberjacks and we're not chopping down that park. Maybe another time. We got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted? When the map fell down, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it, but we can probably crack it. Well, we technically have all the time in the world to do it. Should we try? Sure. I mean, there might be something cool in there. If you can hack into a safe with your damn bare hands with, like, limited supplies, you are a damn boss. One can of food was in there? Who put a can of soup in a safe? You're supposed to put valuable items in there. Who the fuck did that? Probably some troll. Some damn troll. Day 56. Alarm! Someone is trying to break in and they're not alone. Are you fucking kidding me? We better get ready or else we might end up dead or worse. I don't have anything. I guess I'm dead. This is some bullshit. Oh my god. All this work. All this work. What? Day 57? Where's Pancake? No! If it wasn't for Pancake... We would have surrendered. He jumped those things like a mighty lion and chased them away. We haven't seen Pancake since then, but we have a feeling he's okay. Oh, he better be okay. I'm gonna be pissed. The other day, we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it was meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Yeah, whatever. YOLO. Every time I'm coming to a situation like that, I'm just gonna YOLO it. Anything good? Yo, where's Pancake at? One water? Alright. And Mary Jane, are you coming back or what? You're a mutant, you better come back. There she is. Yay! <laughs> you dumb looking ass. Uh, One food, two waters, and that's it. Okay. Let's prepare to go out again, Mary Jane. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. In fact, they promised us a painful death at least 17 times already. What the hell? And it's only been five minutes. Oh my god, I don't have anybody but Mary Jane. Mary Jane! Yeah? Oh, nothing happened. We were surprised as those bandits when Mary Jane launched herself forward and dealt with those scumbags using methods best described as brute force. We were almost worried for them. Almost. Yes! Thank you, Mary Jane. That's what I like to see, baby. We were preparing ourselves for the expedition yesterday and we feel ready to go out right now. Oh, okay. Let's send out Mary Jane again. Oh, I need to get rescued, man. This is crazy. This is taking forever. All right, let's see. Anything good? The gun of ours will probably be more dangerous for whoever's firing it rather than for the target. Yes, let's fix it. Thank you. Finally fixed the gun. So at least I can scare off the bandits again. Bandits are at our door. Promises the worst fate we can imagine if we don't let them in. Oh my god. Hopefully, Dolores, you pop them right in the head so they never come back. This is insane. This has been like five, six times they've came already. Just cut it out! You're never gonna get inside the shelter! The military is communicating through the radio again. I don't have an axe. I'm sorry, I don't have an axe. Those damn axe bandits broke my axe! Day 65! All hands on deck! There are people on the other side of the door! You have got to be shitting me! So hard right now. And they don't seem too friendly. In fact, they promise us a painful death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? If you kill Dolores, she deserves it because they obviously want her for some reason. 
the hell is this? God, man. We held up for 66 days. Yeah, okay. We died. We're gonna... She's gonna die a painful death, and Mary Jane's gonna be like, Duh, what happened? Where's my mom? Man, shit. Mary Jane should have been there. She could have scared them off with their brute force bullshit. But that's was the fatties challenge, but it turned into something cool, because Dolores came back. And Ted died from an explosion that we've never seen before. But if you guys want to see me do any new challenge videos, write them in the comments below and I will do the next one that I like in the next challenge video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude. <laughs>